Dr. Pavitra, LMA Certified Child Birth Educator from Pampered Moms. And today I'm going to talk on the topic, Failure to Progress, What is a New Definition? We hear this a lot nowadays, when women say, my labor pain started, but then it did not progress, so I had to be taken into caesarean. Or I had a C-section because the doctor said I did not progress well. So what do we understand by this terminology, not to progress? One in three cases in the entire world, C-section, is only because of failure to progress. So how, what, how do we define this terminology of failure to progress? In early labor, you can call labor to fail when the woman has reached six centimeters, the water has bro broken, but till four hours, you don't see any progress. Like there is no dilation after six centimeters. In early labor, the woman has reached six centimeters, the water has also broken, but then there is no progress here, there and after. And also, in pushing phase, you call failure to progress when there is more than four hours of pushing and yet the baby has not descended down, especially for women who have taken epidural. In women who have gone the normal way throughout, if, there is, if the woman is pushing hard for more than three hours, but yet the baby has not descended down, then it is called as failure to progress. And what do we understand when a woman is induced? If a woman is induced, and the induction is supposed to have failed when more than 24 hours the woman is given oxytocin but yet there is no progress in labor. So I hope I am very clear in these three things. In early labor, the woman should have reached 6 centimeters and she's, the water has already broken but yet the, the labor has not progressed for more than 4 hours continuously. The second is during pushing. There is more than four hours of pushing in an epidural in a woman with epidural, yet the labor has not progressed, then it is called as failure to progress in the phase of pushing. For a woman who has not taken epidural, more than three hours of pushing, yet nothing, the baby has not descended down, then, then it is called as failure to progress. Whereas in induction, a woman who is induced, the labor is induced, for more than 24 hours she is given oxytocin, but yet the, there is no dilation, then it is called as failure to progress. Also, modern women have slower labors compared to earlier. It is a known fact. We are less mobile compared to our mothers or our grandmother, grandmothers. Before, women used to do all the household work. But now, because of our, because of our sedentary lifestyles or, or because of our office hours where we do most of that job just sitting, there is a very high chance that our labors do not progress as fast as they used to do before. Also, the, the study also highlighted a very important fact. Though the labor is prolonged or short, there is no difference in infant mortality. So it is not that just because a woman has been laboring for a long time, that doesn't mean the, the fetus is under distress. When there is a clear-cut call where there is a fetal distress, then there would be significant fluctuations in the fetal heart rate and fetal body movement would decrease to a greater extent. That's when we should worry. But otherwise, till the woman has dilated properly for 6 centimeters and she's dilating at a regular pace, then that means she's going to have normal delivery and we have to just wait with patience. Patience, patience and patience. That is the most important thing in normal delivery. Thank you.